Guys, the bumpers just came in for the 135. Front and rear, spoiler and everything. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. Check it out. All right, guys, these are the bumpers, and I believe the full kit for the 135, so I'm super stoked to unbox this. Go ahead and see what's inside of it. I don't really know exactly what it is because this is a sponsored video from Souvenir, so shout out to them, but all I know is that it's gonna be sick. Welcome back to welcome back to another video and today we're in the garage all cleared up ready for a whip to be pretty much put together and uh, Pretty much upgraded definitely so the 135 is chilling right over here We have the i8 to the 435 so we're not touching the i8 today We're not touching the 435 we're actually dealing with the 135 We have so many things that just came in for that car So let's go ahead and get the car in here, but before we do that Let's hear a cold start on a 135 this thing hasn't been started in about two weeks and uh, it's fully straight pipe pretty much It just has a resonator and that's it So loud, guys. Now, the car is absolutely filthy. See, so as you can see, we actually cut off the pipe right there. So, you have no muffler. We have a catless down pipe. And uh, basically, it shot flames and melted all the brackets. So, the good thing is, we do have some new brackets over there. Um, so, let's go ahead and just bring everything inside the garage. And just show you guys what we have so far for the 135. Because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. And I've just been waiting for everything to come in. Everything displayed right here. So, we have the bracket that's actually in two separate pieces. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Like, this looks like, no, it's connected, so that kind of worries some. I don't know if that needs to be connected. Uh, maybe this is connected somewhere else. Oh yeah, there is a connection up there, which is good. And maybe there's a connection somewhere over here as well, which would be great. So as long as this can mount on its own and that can mount on its own, I'll be happy. Uh, this also melted, you guys can see all right here. So we'll have to replace this as well. But in this video, I think we're gonna try to focus on the front end and the rear end's probably gonna be in the next video because we have to also get the exhaust work done. So uh, there's gonna be two parts. Is I wanna get so much done in this part though. I wanna mount this intercool, which means we have to remove the front bumper, cut the brackets, cut actually part of the radiator support, or not the radiator support, part of the front end to mount this big old intercooler. So that's gonna be a a bit fun and then we're gonna actually go ahead and wrap this front 1m style bumper this bumper looks so good so this bumper is from souvenir intercool is from burger tuning so shout out to burger tuning for the intercool if you guys want to check out that link down below and if you guys want this beautiful bumper this is a 1m bumper from souvenir link down below as well so we have the front end and 1m and we also have the rear end 1m what i love about the rear end one is this little cutout right here it looks so sick we actually already have the wrap for all this, so hopefully we'll be able to make do with it. That being said, let's go ahead and just remove that front buffer and start cutting up and fabricating where that intercooler is gonna go. So this particular model is a 2010. Make sure you look up Burger Tuning's website whether you need the J-pipe or not. But for my model, I did need to pick up the J-pipe as well. So the J-pipe right here, everything else comes with the kit for the Burger Tuning intercooler. Since this is the big intercooler, it's not just a direct volt on. You do need to do a little bit of cutting, but it should be that big of a deal. Let's just go ahead and remove that front bumper. And I'll show you guys what we're talking about. So at this point guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove all the screws on the top and then uh, the screws on the side Actually, I don't think there's any screws on the, uh, the one series on the side So just all the screws on the top all the screws on the bottom and I think it's just tabs You just pull it right on out, right? Okay on the sides as well Okay, so there will be some screws on the sides as well And you just go ahead and remove all the screws to the bumper We just got to remove that bumper and then we can access the intercooler So there should be one screw on each side. I actually don't even have the screws for some reason. So I move the one screw from both sides and then there's just the two clips holding the, the intercooler on which is from the charge pipe on the other side as well. Uh, so it's gonna go ahead and just release the charge pipe right here. This is technically gonna be replacing the whole thing with the J pipe. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect that. Go ahead and disconnect this side as well. We should be able to drop this whole thing now. Yep, just like that and So I'm using a multi-purpose tool from Milwaukee. You guys can use whatever you want. I just like this multi-purpose tool because it's wireless, super easy to use. So basically, we're gonna be cutting all the way up here and we're gonna be cutting all this off. So we do need to uh, move the bracket so we don't actually mess up anything. So we do have to disconnect this hose right here. So we're pretty much here is the before. You guys can see all this plastic guarding and uh, you guys are about to see the after right now. This is what we 
ended up cutting out, guys, honestly, the multi-purpose tool from Home Depot, the, the, the Milwaukee one, I mean, you can get any brand, but a multi-purpose tool is what you're gonna need for this. I mean, if you got an angle grinder, it just, it would've been super hard to just get in there. While the multi-purpose tool was able just to stick it in there, I made it flat. It looks really clean, too. I mean, I gotta just take off all this little stuff. But other than that, I mean, I can make this thing look super clean. I mean, it already looks super clean. I mean, you're not you're not gonna notice any of that stuff. Uh, we can actually put back the part that goes right here. And then, um, before we do that, we should, we should definitely put in the inner core. But, look at that, all one piece, cut out. That's pretty sick, I mean. All right, well, let's, let's just put in the inner core, right? Yep. Let's get it. So we just put in the two screws on the bottom. If you guys want to just come around and see that real quick. So we got in this screw right here. We got also the one on the other side. Um, we got the hoses right here. We didn't put the clamps in yet. We're putting it in right now. So we need one on this side. And then we also need a clamp over here on this side. We already got the screw in on this side as well. So everything is pretty much ready to go. Um, it's just putting the two clamps. So this is good. this is probably the easiest part. Legitimately, all you have to do is pretty much remove this screw right here. I thought you always had to put this in first, but you can just bada bing, bada bang, put it around put it on like a bracelet and you're good to go. And that's it, I think we're pretty much done. We didn't nick it up just a little bit. Um, don't do it like us, like try to be gentle, but we were kind of rushing it, not gonna lie. All right, let's just go ahead and put on this uh, these clamps real quick. All right guys, now that we have the intercooler installed, it's not going anywhere. Um, this thing right here, I don't know, should I connect it or should I just basically delete it? I don't, it doesn't connect, like on its life it doesn't connect. Maybe if I route it above the intercooler, maybe it'll connect. I'm gonna try to figure that out, but I never ever use those anyways. So I really don't know if that's even like something that doesn't matter. Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and just assemble the rest of the stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and wash up. We need to get super cleaned up and then we'll go ahead and prep that bumper for some wrap and throw on that bumper. I'm super excited because basically we're gonna have the new intercooler, the big intercooler and the brand new bumper wrapped to match the car. So the car in the front end is gonna look absolutely immaculate with the new intercooler with the 1M style bumper. So I'm super excited for that. So yeah, let's go ahead, clean up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so we did get off the M Sport 135 bumper. So if you guys have a 128 or a 135, you guys wanna sand this down, the bumper is perfectly fine. So if you guys wanna get this bumper, just hit me up on Instagram, come pick it up locally. I'm not, I don't need any, there's no reason for it, you know, and I'm not really trying to charge you guys for it. So M Sport bumper, if you guys are trying to upgrade your car, come pick it up for free. Comes with the grills. I'll, I'll throw in the grills too. So if you guys want the grills, come get it all together. I need to get some newer grills. So that's that. Coming around over here, we have the 1M, 1M Sport bumper. I'm super happy, I'm super, super happy we finally got this in. I've been waiting nearly a month for this. A lot of uh, companies are back ordered on this. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if they're selling like crazy or because of uh, COVID and everything like that. So that being said, we are, we are officially ready to go ahead and just clean it all up and then pretty much start laying a couple little overlays here and there and then we'll be ready to go. I think my brother's also gonna help me with this. We just, how hard do you think this is gonna be? Um, honestly, shouldn't be too many inlays, so I think this is gonna be a whole lot easier than the Even 3 Series. Even this, like, you see the dip? It's not crazy, the dip right here. Yeah. Like, on a 3 Series, the dip goes in, like, that far. It's crazy, so. I, I actually, I mean, this thing, this thing comes out pretty far, so. I don't know, I don't think that we need any overlays over here. We might need an overlay over here. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and try it. <laughs> Just got the wrap laid out. Uh, we don't have enough. We need to stretch that out right there on both sides. But I do think it's possible because we cut up just enough for the rear bumper and I care more about the rear bumper than the front bumper because the front bumper, I, I don't know, it's just, it's a smaller piece. So worst comes to worst, it'll be less money to buy a whole new roll than to buy a new roll for that because it's about 10 to 12 feet, which is ridiculous, while this is only like eight feet. So it's just cheaper if I mess up on this. Anyhow, we got two heat guns, thank the Lord. We got one right there, where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yep, so we have two heat guns, we have two squeegees, and we have two blades. So we're gonna try to knock this out. It is 436 right now, so let's see how fast we can knock this out. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this building in. I wanna dry up a two. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus 
Okay, so we literally have wrap all over the ground. Looks like a murder scene of wrap. But the good news is the bumper is done. My brother's just going ahead and screwing in the fog light covers. We actually don't have fog lights, so we're going to have to uh, work our way around that. Uh, probably even just get a fog light just to put it there. Or maybe I try to find some girls that don't have fog lights for this bumper. I don't know how this bumper works exactly, so I'm going to look that up since this is a 1M style. Um, also, the bumper did come with some of these uh, windshield washer things. I'm going to use the original black ones because these should, because they are painted and I just prefer if they're painted, ever, uh, you know, just in case I ever want to go back to a black bumper. Not that I'm ever going to, but you know, why not use the original ones when you have them? So I'm going to try to help my brother get the bumper on the car. It's going to look absolutely insane, especially with the big burger tuning new intercooler. This is like the biggest one they have pretty sure. So we are pretty much ready for some insane power numbers. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and put it on. I'm super excited to see this. Me and my brother have been working on it for like four hours hours now right about yeah it's been, it's, it's been a little bit so uh let's go ahead and throw it on real quick to come with me with me with me turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea Bada bing, bada bing. I'm gonna show you guys this tomorrow, but it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up, get some Chipotle. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm super stoked. We got the big intercool in there, and we got the beautiful 1M bumper on this 135. It's gonna be about to be pushing 500 horsepower. Smash the like button so far if you guys have enjoyed, but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And good morning, guys. Well, good afternoon. It's 2 p.m., but the next day. So now that me and my brother are out here again, once again, we're about to get the rear bumper on this little thing right here. It's start wrapping the rear bumper and then pretty much the 135 should be 100% complete in terms of wrap. Now we do also have to replace the rear brackets. I have the brackets right over here. We have to replace those because the original ones got melted because I think we were shooting flames. Something crazy. So the I8 just chilling there like a villain. We have the 435O back there in the distance and then we have the 135. Look at that with the new bumper. It looks so freaking good. So we're not going to bring it in just yet because it is super dusty and dirty. We're going to go ahead and just wrap the rear bumper since our hands are clean. We're going to wrap that and as soon as that is ready, we're going to back up the 135 into the garage and just pretty much assemble all the brackets and everything and then slap on the bumper and we should be good to go. So that being said, let's go ahead and start wrapping this rear bumper because I am uh, super stoked to see this 135 all put together and shit. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures. Trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the All right, guys, so we just finished the bumper. We do need to do some overlays here. And it was very difficult to do that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, everything else, we got it really good. So I'm super happy about it. Um, even here, uh, we might need to put just an overlay on it uh, just to make sure none of that peels up. But that's on the bottom. You guys never see any of that stuff. For the rest of the bumper, it came out pretty amazing. Looks like paint. And uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time on this little puppy. Even on the top here, we made it come out pretty far. And we even tucked it behind so it shouldn't peel anywhere. And that is a cold startup, guys, on a 135. I think it sounds absolutely insane. He's gonna go ahead and back it up right here, replace the brackets, throw on the bumper, throw on the diffuser, and uh, should be finally fully assembled. They might need a wash as well, to be honest. Oh my God, that thing is loud. <laughs> oh my God, it's so loud. Close the door. Um, so the only thing is also this bracket here isn't really in great shape. This one I do think is reusable. This is absolutely toast. That side's toast. We're going to place those two and we'll see how the bumper holds up. If it holds up pretty good on this side, I'll be happy to just reuse this portion. But, you know, if it's sagging over here, I might need to re reorder another bracket on this side. We'll have to see. But let's go ahead and remove this bracket and that other bracket and then uh, install the two new brackets. We got that bracket right there, which actually goes on the driver's side. And we got this one that goes throughout the rear. So uh, we should be good. We should be good. But um, I guess we won't know until we, uh, until we start taking things apart. Also, what might be a little bit difficult, you guys can see those two screws are fully exposed. This is not fully exposed. And uh, there's a few of them because the plastic's literally melted right over them. So it might be kind of difficult to get to, but we'll try our best. All 
All right, guys, so now we have the rear bumper fully assembled and uh, I'm probably gonna start working on the wrap imperfections and also the diffuser. I'm probably gonna have to take it down to my body shop guy and have him put it on. The diffuser on this is super tough to put on, so I'm probably gonna need somebody else to help me actually assemble the diffuser and clip it in place. I, w I personally wanna cut this off, so I just wanna ask my diffuser guy, I mean, my body shop guy, am, is, like, is this supposed to be cut off or I'm supposed to leave it? Because I feel like I don't really need this, but I feel like it's getting in the way, but just to make sure, I'm gonna ask my, I'm gonna ask my uh, body shop guy and hopefully he can help me sort this. Meantime, the car is fully assembled, all one color. I'm super happy about that. Now it looks actually pretty presentable, but again, I wanna work on that down here. I wanna fix this imperfection, fill in what needs to be filled in, and then we should be good to go. I need to go inside, wash up, and then get something to eat, so I'll see you guys in about, mm, about 10, 15 minutes. Now that me and my brother are ready to go, we're gonna go get some Chipotle, and we're taking the 130, nah, I'm just like, I'm gonna be taking the i8 again. It's just a car that I love to drive around the city. It is just a joy to drive, and uh, it is my newest car, of course, and it's technically my first exotic. So I really just really, really, really like driving this compared to all my other cars, even though it has that sound when you start it up. But without further ado, guys, let's get some Chipotle. We are starving. It's uh, another day, no breakfast. Second day in a row eating super late. Yesterday, I had my first bite at 7.30 p.m., my first bite, and today, I'll have my first bite. What time is it? Um, 4.40. 4.40, so almost like probably 5 o'clock. Five, yeah. five. I mean 520. Anyhow, let's head over, get some Chipotle. On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, yeah, yeah. No sleep in my body, last night got me wasted, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get We got the stuff. <laughs> Let's go home and eat. And me and my brother just talking about it. Every time we come to Chipotle, we get hella excited. It makes us so happy. It does, I don't know, it's just that good. Um, okay, buddy. All right, let us get into our car first, sir. All righty. Can he open? Yes, he clears. Okay, that's the only thing that sucks about these doors. They don't open as wide, but they have to open at least 50%. You can't just squeeze out a door, so. It is what it is. I love the doors though. We're about to go home, just eat something, a little something, something from Chipotle. It's actually like, we just found out it's only 650 calories for the bowl and another 300 calories for the tortilla if you get that. It's about under a thousand calories for a meal that's pretty much filled with pretty good stuff. Your addiction's so bad, you got me to sign up with uh, Chipotle rewards. Yeah, I got my brother to sign up for the gym because he had free guac. Free guac. guac. Who doesn't want free guac? <laughs> you know what I mean? Free guac. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our Chipotle. They should definitely sponsor me, I mean, honest to God. Without further ado, guys, uh, this pretty much concludes the video. I don't think you guys wanna see me eating a bowl of Chipotle, as, as as cool as that might sound. We are planning on playing soccer with the boys pretty soon. A lot of you guys said you also wanna see that, and a lot of you guys also wanna see another rebuild on the channel. So remember, 150K subs, guys. Since we had 150K, we're getting an M car, where that's an M2, M3, M4, X5M, X6M, I don't know, whatever you guys wanna see. Maybe even an M8. Ooh. I'm not buying like that, but we'll see. You never know if it's in the auction for the right price. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to smash that like button down below. And if we hit 200k subscribers, we'll be rebuilding an exotic car, um, probably an R8, probably AMG GT, or something along those lines. Maybe even a Porsche GT4, GT3. We'll see. We'll have to see. 200k subscribers for that, guys. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words, and I put them all together in search, cause I wanna have worth.